Let's move along now to fight of the year. And I'll go first on this one. Uh, you mentioned Zhang Weili versus Yuani and Jacek. And look, uh, th- there were some others. You, 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 gave, you gave Zhang the female fighter of the year because of that fight, because of how good she did. And, and that was an incredible fight. Uh, Davison Figueredo versus Brandon Moreno was a phenomenal fight at the end of the year in December. Uh, Stipe versus DC was a great fight. I don't think a lot of people appreciated just how great that was, especially considering the stakes. John Jones versus Dominic Reyes feels like it happened 10 years ago at this point. And that was a fantastic fight and a compelling fight as well, because we all thought that Dominic was about to beat John Jones for the first time at light heavyweight first official time. Of course, there's Josh Emmett versus Shane Burgos. There's Dustin Poirier versus Dan Hooker. There's also Dan Hooker versus Paul Felder that people have kind of forgotten over time because that was pre-pandemic. But in the end, it goes to Zhang Wei Li versus Yuan and Jacek, in my opinion. One of the best fights we've ever seen, one of the best title fights we've ever seen, one of the best strawweight title fights we've ever seen, and perhaps most importantly, one of the best female fights we've ever seen. The second to last fight before the pandemic in Las Vegas, the hematoma, the fifth round, everything about it was tremendous. In the end, I give it to them over Moreno and Davison because of the way they finished it. It never stopped. They were going 100 miles an hour the entire time. As you mentioned, I picked uh, Zhang Wei Li as my female fighter of the year based on this fight. So how could I not have it as, as my fight of the year? We're in agreement on this one. I'm going to mention, you you mentioned a ton of them. I'm going to mention some that uh, you didn't. Jan versus Aldo, um, for as long as it lasted, was absolutely tremendous. You know, and, I and- saw this on a lot of lists. Maybe I forgot. It felt very one-sided to me. No, not wasn't not until the end. At the mm. end, when when Jan was on top, pounding him out, it was over. It was done. It should have been stopped sooner. Before that, the body work um, that Aldo was doing was was looking like the Cheeto Vera fight. He he was there. He he came to fight. That one was really really solid. And and it's it's one of the themes that I love about fights of the year is that turning of tide. It's why Hooker and Poirier was one of the, the the mentions. It doesn't have to necessarily be sustained back and forth through five. Sometimes you can have that switch mid fight. Jan and Aldo was one of them. Jones and Reyes. Jones taking over in the later half. Um, of that fight was another example. Uh, Luque versus Price 2. That rematch was absolutely bonkers. Edgar versus Munoz was one of my personal favorites. It kind of like fell off some lists, but Edgar versus Munoz was a really good fight. Yeah. And then one that you could or could not have, depending on how you look at it, Volkanovski versus Holloway 2. And the reason I love that one so much was because you don't often see rematches that vastly different than the first fight. You'll see certain elements different, but that was such a completely different fight. And then it had that same turn of momentum where Volkanovski takes over in the later half. Um, I absolutely love that fight. I love that fight. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.